everyone. So we're going to get into part two of coding a Rubik's Cube timer, which is the styling. But before we get into that, there are a couple mistakes that I made in the um, HTML, which we're just going to fix. Um, the first one is we want to add a class to um, our table statistics, just so it's easier for styling. And for caption down here, captions generally used for um, tables or images. It's not as well suited to um, lists. So we're actually going to make that a small heading, which is H7. H7. And we'll save that, and nothing should change on the page. Good. Okay, so now we're going to create our um, styling file. So we go new file, and we'll save it as timer. Oh, sorry. Um, desktop. We're going to save it as timer.css. And what we have to do now is we have to link the HTML to the CSS. So we can go to CSS. We go under our title, type in link, press the tab button, and then this comes up. And our H reference needs to be this CSS file. So we type in timer.css, and we'll save that. And now they're both linked to each other. OK. So onto the styling, first thing I want to do is to change the background color to a light blue. So I'm going to type in the body here, I'm going to type in background color, and I'm going to use this hexadecimal code that I got before this, um, this tutorial. We can do D, zero, F, five, F, E. We'll save that and we see we've got a nice blue background now. Um, second thing I want to do is change the font as well. And we'll type in font family. And the font I want to use is Helvetica, Helvetica Neu. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Helvetica Neu. Ariel Sans Serif. Um, I think that's... Okay, there we go, we can save that. And there we go, our font's changed. Okay, so next thing I wanna do is style the scramble. What I wanna do is put it in the middle and make it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna type in hash scramble. Um, we always type hash when we're referring to an, to an ID. So we're gonna put that in the center of the page. So text align center, save that. It's in the middle of the page. Um, yeah, I want to make it a bit bigger. Font size. So I want it to be 150% of what it is already. There we go. And it's a bit high up on the page. So I'm going to add a margin to the top of it. Margin top, 110 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna add a bit of padding to the bottom of it, just so the timer and um, the scramble text isn't that close together. So I'm going to do padding bottom 20 pixels. Okay, cool. So now moving on to the timer. So we're gonna select the timer in the same way. Okay, and we're going to put it in the middle of the page as well. Text align center. Save that. It's in the center. Then we're gonna do. We're gonna make it much bigger. So we'll probably put a font weight of about a font size of four hundred percent. I think four hundred percent. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And just like scramble, we'll add a bit of padding to the bottom, just so there's a bit of space um, between it and our list and our table. 10 pixels, yeah, that looks good. Um, the next thing I wanna do is style our container and the container contains the table here and our ordered, our ordered list and it's in a class. So for classes, for IDs you use hashes, for classes you use dots. So we've got dot container. What I wanna do is put it in a what's called a flex box. 
So it's kind of like a box that flexes around the um, the elements inside. So we have our, so it'll flex around our table in our, um, our ordered list. So we, for that we do display flex, control S. And we see we have our uh, our solved list right next to our table, our statistics table. And I want to put that in the center of the page. So that's spelled wrong. Justify content center, and that should put it in the middle of the page. Um, yep, that looks pretty good. And I see the time is not really in between our table and our scramble. So I'm going to add a bit of padding to the top of our container. There we go. So this should move our table and our list down a bit. And that's pretty close, I think. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, I think I'm going to leave the video here because it's gotten a bit long. Um, the next videos will focus on um, styling the table, the statistics table and the list. So I'll catch you in the next one.